Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. 3D. Today I've got something truly exciting to share with you. We are going to dive into the world of 3D city creation using the incredible Blossom Blender add-on and Google Maps photorealistic 3D data. A few months ago, Google announced that they are giving access to photorealistic 3D geodata through the Map Tiles API. This offers a seamless 3D mesh model of the real world textured with high resolution RGB optical imagery. This is amazing because it allows the creator of Blossom to import photorealistic 3D geodata into Blender with just a few clicks. You can download the Blossom add-on by following the link down below. It's 100% free, but there is a premium version that you can get which comes with extra features and assets. I will make a separate video about it in the future. The free version is fine for this video. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and discover how to turn the real world into a 3D city. Once you open up Blender, go over to Edit, Preferences, under Add-ons, click on Install and install the Blossom add-on that you have downloaded from Gumroad, then search for it and click this checkbox to enable it. Once you enable it, click this arrow to open up the drop down menu and here you will see all the preferences of the add-on. First you have to set the directory where it's gonna save all the 3D Google Maps data. And then if you got the premium version, you can link the assets pack which comes with premium version. And here you have the access tokens and the keys option. So in this video we are only gonna work with Google 3D tiles key which will access the Google satellite imagery and download it into Blender. To get the Google 3D Tiles API key, you can follow the add-ons documentation link below for step-by-step -step instructions. If you don't already have a Google Cloud account, you will need to create one. Please note that you will be required to provide payment information, but Google will not charge you unless you manually upgrade your account. Here it says, your use of Google 3D Tiles in the experimental stage will be free of charge. It's bound by the usage limit though. You can find more information about those limits by clicking here. Usually they are pretty high so you don't have to worry about the limit. And you will also have to enable the map tiles API which I will show you how to enable. So click here and here you can see that enable the map tiles API button. Click on it. It will take you to Google Cloud where you have to enable it. I have already enabled mine. Click on this arrow to go back. Click once again. Now you are in the APIs and services of the Google Cloud. Then you have to go over to the credentials. And here you can see that I already have my key right here. But if you don't have a key, just simply click on create credentials and select the API key. Once you have the key, simply copy the key, paste it on Google 3 tiles key. Once you paste it, save preferences and then close preferences. And to view the add-on, all you have to do is to press N on your keyboard and it will open up the side panel. From here you can see that we have a new tab called Blossom. Click on it. Now, first thing first, it uses longitude and latitude coordinates which will import the city or the area you have selected here. And to make it easier for you to select the area, you can just simply click on select. But before we click on select, here you can see that we have multiple import options. And in this video, we're only gonna go through the Google 3D tiles. So once you have it selected, you just simply have to click on select and it will open up a new tab on your browser with the world map. So from here, you can click on this search icon and type in a city you want to create. So I'm gonna go with New York City, select it, zoom in right here. And then you have to click on the show selection rectangle. Once you click on it, you will see a square on your screen which you can move around and resize however you want. Try not to select bigger area because it can definitely make you sit and wait a lot. I have selected this much area that I'm going to import. Once you select it, you can click on the copy button to copy the longitude and latitude coordinates and then go back to Blender and click on paste. And here you can see that it has updated the coordinates. Now before you click import, we have a settings panel with the level of details. So the first one with the whole city is the lowest level of detail. And if you want the highest quality of the city, then use the buildings with more details. Now, to record this video quickly, I've already imported all these level of details. So, I will show you how these look like. But, if you select uh, buildings with more high detail and click on import, and it will look like Blender is going to crash, but it's just pulling the city data from the server. Then putting together the buildings and textures depending on the size of the area you are importing. It can take a lot of time, so try not to bring bigger area than you need to save time. Alright, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and reveal all the levels of quality one by one. So with the whole CD level of detail being right here, I'm gonna go over to the rendered view and here you can see that this is how the lowest quality of detail looks like and you don't have to use it. I recommend don't use the whole CD because it's the lowest quality and it's not worth it. Then we have districts. So with districts you get a pretty nice amount of quality with all the buildings and this is not good as realistic and it took me like one minute to import this level of detail and then we have groups of buildings so let's take a look at this and this is the quality with groups of buildings detail now you can use this for background like way far city views this will definitely save you a lot of your memory and your gpu resources then we have the level of detail with separate buildings now if i show you how this looks like this is much better than all the previous ones all right also note that google cloud sends a significant number of 3d tiles beyond the requested area of interest means it imports way larger area of the city than we have actually selected now let's move on to buildings with details all right here you can see that we have the buildings with detail it's uh, a lot better than the previous one and at last we have buildings with more details and here you can see the quality of the city and it's very very high quality now they are also working on improving the quality of the lower grounds as well this is the highest quality you can get and there you have it this is how easy it is to bring realistic cities into blender in just a few clicks let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below also you can check some of my previous videos and of course if you like this video or you found it useful you can give it a thumbs up and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one peace